Hello everyone. In the continuation of the fundamental of computers, I am going to explain in this uh, video lectures what is computer. Actually, in this lecture, we uh, we will see that how the computer is designed and how the computer is actually work. If you like this video, the please share this video and if possible subscribe it, uh, for the uh, next lectures. So, uh, what is computer? The terms computer is derived from the Latin word computer, uh, which means that calculate. So, computer is not, nothing but a uh, calculation machine. Computer is a programmable electronic device uh, that accept raw data as an inputs and process it uh, uh, with the set of instruction to produce the result uh, as a output, which means that uh, uh, whatever the uh, performance will be uh, do uh, by the computer is nothing but an data will be taken and uh, process on the data for, uh, according to the some instruction followed by um, uh, given by the user and produce some uh, specific result according to the user. So it gives output just after performing mathematical and logical operation. Computer nothing but the combination of mathematical and logical operation. The device also has memory that stores the data for uh, programs and results of programs. So whatever the data, whatever the instruction, uh, we are going to be uh, talking about that. Uh, that is actually nothing uh, but the uh, memory space which is taken uh, by this data and program. Uh, it is believed that analytical engine uh, was the first computer and was invented by the Charles Babbage in 19, uh, 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 sorry, 1837. Charles Babbage is also considered as the father of the computer so which means that computer nothing but a calculation machine which takes the inputs and these inputs are taken from the memories which is also be um, and process that uh, inputs and produce the output and which is also be going to be uh, stored in the um, memory so here is a block diagram of a computer that there are the different hardware component playing their role to support the overall processing of a computer and so without hardware it is not possible Com uh, hardware component categorized under the different types of uh, types or units so basically there are the three uh, types of units are there input units and the central processing units and uh, output units again the central processing units uh, having uh, three sub units that is memory units control units and arithmetic and logic units and another um, additional uh, unit is there that is called secondary storage device which is basically um, uh, useful for store the data in future use uh, so uh, come to the point uh, we can see that input units are having different type of input devices just like and keyboards mouse light paints and joyst joysticks are there and output um, units are having soft copies device that are just like in monitor, monitor which is also known as in standard output device hard copy devices such as for example uh, printer and plotter and the secondary storage device uh, we can see that magnetic tape magnetic ticks and uh, and CDs uh, that is called optical uh, disk uh, you can say the optical memory if these are also in uh, memory types and all this input secondary storage and output device output unit devices are actually known as a peripheral device which is uh, actually helping the uh, um, CPU to um, produce some useful output produce some uh, useful operations uh, so uh, again we can see that memory units are having um, sorry uh, CPU having memory units control units and LU sections they are um, interrelated to each other they helping each other so whatever the data will be come through the input unit control units and the data uh, from the memory unit to the ALU sections and perform some arithmetic operation and logical operation and produce some useful result and again this results is sent to the output units and we can see that there is an um, direction so, uh, arrow is given in the secondary storage device means that uh, if we want to uh, take the data uh, from the secondary storage it uh, also we can be possible and produce the uh, result in a secondary storage so means that mp units basically used for online data and secondary storage is basically used for offline data input and output units for online data uh, so now come to the point the, uh, <coughs> the basic uh, operations of CPU is um, given below a computer accept the data or the instruction from the input device that is input operation uh, computer process the data as per the requirement of the uh, user that is called uh, processing and after processing the result is obtained which is then sent to the uh, user that is called 
output operation and uh, another operation that is called fourth operation which is basically used for storage device that is called store the data for the future which is secondary storage devices use this is the fourth number of operation so basic uh, basically three operation there input operation processing operation and then output operation and the future purpose and uh, store the data uh, that is uh, fourth operation and the working principle of a computer we can see that it takes a raw data from the input device after it takes data it processes the data according to the given instruction using the processing units whatever the because computer is nothing but a follow the instructions whatever the instruction given by the users or stored in the storage unit that will be uh, op, um, that will be performed and finally the result is displayed to the user and stored the secondary storage device so here you can see that in the below diagram is there uh, all the operation in a unidirectional but uh, we uh, from the output we just go back to the input because of because if any kind of output which is not desired to the um, user so that will be feedback and again improve the input to get the desired result so that's why this um, arrow um, back arrow is given here uh, so uh, basic operations of the input unit is the input unit consists of different input devices for example, mouse, uh, keyboards, uh, light pins, these are the examples. The role of an input uh, uh, unit is to give data to the computer. Uh, the input device uh, mainly give the data and uh, mm, a computer takes input from the input device in the form of clicks. That is data, click is the data, drag is the data and drop is data pointing, alphanumerical characters uh, are the data. So these are the in the form of data and the, so this data in the form of click, drag, drop pointing and alphanumeric characters etc depending upon the devices used input can be either a data or an instruction so uh, here we can say that data 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 but uh, instruction uh, be a one kind of data you can say that so uh, input uh, is given um, by, as a data or as an instruction the keyboard is a type of input device that gives data and input to the computers whereas mouse usually give instruction through the clicks so we can easily identify that mouse is uh, as an input device which gives the data as a click form processing units so whatever the data in the form of click pointing character that will be received by the processing unit processing unit consists of various parts like CO control unit arithmetic logic unit as well as registers for um, handling the intermediate results and is often referred to as an electronic brain of a computer so CPU is nothing but a brain which operate everything um, this unit is responsible for performing overall operation of a computer systems after the input device provides raw data to the computer system CPU performs a specific operation like addition subtraction division etc and produce a results which we call an output so already I explained that uh, CPU um, perform um, uh, the operation in the form of arithmetic logic units arithmetic operations as well as in logical operations CPU can also accept data from the secondary storage already already explained that uh, secondary storage is basically used for offline data and to carry out any operation the CPU assign tasks to its components so any kind of other operation is here the CPU just give the task to the different type of computer so uh, control units is basically handling everything whatever the input device is there whatever the output device is there and other memory units are there everything will be handled by this processing units uh, the processing units are having um, uh, two uh, different sub parts one of the sub parts is arithmetic and log logic unit LU is a logical units of CPU this unit is responsible for processing of data and uh, instructions when the CPU, uh, control units encounter instructions uh, which is which are related to perform logical and arithmetic operations on data it passes that instruction to ALU sections so arithmetic action uh, different kind of arithmetic actions are addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus operation five um, uh, basic uh, arithmetic operation will be performed and the uh, uh, comparison operations is less than sign greater than less than equals to greater than equals to not equal to whatever the sign is there that is according to the different kind of languages are used this kind of side meaning that they are equal to not equal to less than greater than logical operations are just like an or and and not so whenever we are doing, uh, uh, combining two uh, comparisons that is called less than equals to greater than equals to we use uh, logical operation uh, 
the data on which ALU perform operations are fetched from the memory units because the central processing units are having the memory neurons and data is actually stored in the memory units. So whatever the uh, uh, operation will be performed in ALU section, the data will be taken from the uh, memory units. After the processing complete, uh, means uh, after the uh, arithmetic or logic operations have been completed, uh, so the information is produced and that information or the result is sent back to the storage or an output device. So processing units having second part that is called control part. This is the main part. Uh, from this uh, part, signals are generated. Uh, the control units, another part of CPU, it's uh, supervise the overall operation of the units of the computer. The CPU acts as the central nervous system and control the processing of the data according to the instruction given to the computer. It fetch the instructions and data from the memory units and executes the instruction one at a time using time signals. So uh, control uh, units is the main uh, part of the central processing unit. We, uh, we can say that it is the brain of the units. Uh, from this uh, units, everything will be operated. Um, uh, so uh, when the instruction will be generated, signals will be generated. And so at that signals, so one instruction uh, will be executed at a time. So control units also determine the sequence of programs and instructions. So whatever the sequence uh, of programs or instruction will be uh, given, that will be executed one by one, one at a time uh, with a single time signals. And the uh, last, uh, we can say that the other important unit is called output units. The output units of a computer systems are the collections of hardware components uh, that show output to the user uh, either in hard copy or a soft copy. After CPU complete the processing on the data, the outcome of the process also known as output or a result is passed to this unit. So um, uh, output units is always waiting for the um, uh, pro process data that is called information from the uh, CPU. Uh, the output unit is responsible for translating the results in human understandable format and display. So whatever the data uh, in the form of machine language is come from the CPU uh, that is central units uh, that will be translated uh, to um, a user readable form that uh, user can see that data or understand that data. Memory unit that is the fourth part is there. Uh, the, the memory unit is actually uh, memory unit we can say that it is a part of uh, CPU as well as the outside. The memory, the memory of the computer systems, uh, what provides the data uh, that the CPU needs for processing. There is primary and secondary memory in the computer system. Primary memory is known as a RAM memory uh, that holds the data so that CPU can process it. It is the internal part of or the helping hand of control unit. The data that CPU process should be pulled to primary memory from the secondary storage room. So which means that there are the two types of memory, primary memory and the secondary memory. Secondary memory is uh, basically a uh, outsider memory or we can say that peripheral devices and primary memory is not a peripheral device, it's a part of the uh, central processing unit. So whatever the data, uh, that means offline data comes from the secondary storage, it's actually uh, taken to the primary memory um, first and then from this primary memory control unit will uh, operate that data by using the help of um, ALU sections. So secondary storage is the secondary uh, memory and the primary memory means RAM memory. And the uh, secondary uh, storage, uh, sorry, uh, storage units are the storage units is also a part of a block diagram of a com component. We can say that uh, we have seen that uh, the fourth part, uh, fourth unit is there. Uh, storage units or the secondary st storage unit is a non-volatile device that holds programs, files and documents for the future purpose. It provides the facility to store a large volume of data. CPU executes the uh, data store or the storage divide indirectly. So for example, secondary st uh, storage units are the hard disk drive, external hard disk drive, CD drives, flash drives. These are the secondary storage um, examples are there. The data are transferred to RAM first and after an execution the data can be again returned to the secondary so offline data secondary uh, storage means that offline data is uh, come to the secondary storage to the ram and from the ram to the secondary storage